Well, welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So if you watch the channel, you know I'm just a huge Batman fan. And uh, we had made a video maybe about a month or two ago. Uh, we talked about 11 CGC 9.8 comic books, uh, Batman books that you could buy before the Batman movie comes out. And on that list, I really focus on kind of big key issues. But for this list, I want to just talk about some really cool covers and some really underappreciated first appearance Batman CGC 9.8 comic books that you could buy. Uh, so one book that comes to mind when I'm thinking about sort of um, underfollowed Batman comic books is Batman Beyond number one. It certainly had been when I certainly got into the hobby, but lately there just seems to be so much hype for this book and... You know, Michael Keaton's like the new Batman, possibly, in the Flash series, I think some of the rumors are, so now everyone's saying, like, yeah, well, Michael Keaton would be a great Bruce Wayne, which has, I mean, the Batman Beyond community has been saying that for a while, too. But, uh, lots of rumors with this book. Uh, we documented one that sold in the CGC 9.8 white pages for $1,500 a couple weeks ago, that was. But a couple that popped up on eBay... Um, just in the past few days here, and there was three of them, I believe they were from the same seller, and they all sold for $900 each, and they sold really fast, yeah, so I think 900 is, in this environment anyway, looking like the fair, a fair value, you know, maybe you wait out these Michael Keaton rumors a bit and look to possibly get it a little lower, but this one is heated up so, so much, where, you know, six months ago, CGC 9.8s were kind of 550 I think. Uh, was a decent price, um, and uh, I purchased mine. I got two of them in the CGC 9.8 for 400 to 450, kind of in that price range. So uh, this book's come a long way, and I think on an underfollowed list, um, you know, maybe it doesn't really fit too much anymore. And you do want to be patient, I think, right now on this one too. Uh, but, you know, one to just mention, because uh, certainly, I think six months ago, even, it, it would have fit really good on an underfollowed Batman uh, CGC 9.8 books to buy. But, yeah, we'll get into the list here, and Batman, you know, he's he gives you something different in my, in my collection, that's why I really like Batman. You know, he's a little darker, and, you know, certainly than kind of your typical, like, Marvel comic book, I would say, and I think Batman, you know, he's... You know, Batman and Spider-Man, say, are pretty, like, equally iconic, but I think Batman comic books are just a little bit cheaper and a little bit easier to maybe get at a, a, a you know, a, a less price, some of the uh, key issues. And, yeah, certainly some of these underfollowed ones on the list are, um, uh, you know, really aff affordable prices, actually, yeah. So, and I think now's the time to buy these Batman CGC 9.8 comic books before that the Batman movie comes out next year, like once the trailer drops, it's going to be a bit harder to kind of get, you know, decent deals on all your Batman keys. So, first book here of uh, 7 CGC 9.8 underfollowed Batman comics to buy, yeah, and to invest in. Uh, first one on the list is a Batman 307. This is the first appearance of Lucius Fox. This is a book I don't have, and it's it's one that, you know, I... I I've really sort of drilled down even three years ago when I initially got into the hobby. One of my, the books I really wanted to grab were Batman CGC 9.8s from the 80s, and I do have, you know, quite a few of them. Um, but Batman 307 is a 1979 book, so it's a little bit older, but it's the first appearance of Lucius Fox. So um, I I'd actually, I wasn't even aware of Lucius Fox ever before seeing The Dark Knight, and Morgan Freeman, like, plays Lucius Fox, who's like, kind of Bruce Wayne's, uh, you know, tech guy in Wayne Enterprises, I guess you could call him, but, so you get a pretty cool first appearance, and a really cool cover, and we'll look on the census here, eight CGC 9.8s in the blue label out there, so only eight of these out there, so no wonder why, I remember looking at the census two, you know, two, three years ago when I was really drilling down on Batman key issues, and I kind of did want the first Lucius Fox back then, and still do. But uh, still haven't saw one that, you know, is in an auction from one of my sellers or on a, you know, a, a Batman CGC 9.8 eBay search or anything like that. But there's only eight CGC 9.8s out there in the blue label. Uh, so the 9.8 ratio, 13.8%. So of all graded copies, 13.8% of them are CGC 9.8. So it's an underfollow book. Like, there's not a ton. It's not a huge key where there's a ton of these uh, graded. A Batman 1979 book. Batman comics during this era were pretty low printed compared to Superman and, and all the other Marvel books, basically. Batman pretty low printed during this era. So, uh, 
this is one that I really want to drill down on. And uh, I'm looking on GoCollect uh, before for some research because I was on eBay for completed listings and saw nothing. Uh, but um, on uh, GoCollect, they're having the fair market value. It's uh, $280 in the CGC 9.8. So I think if you could track one down one of these eight in the CGC 9.8 for $280, that is just a fantastic book to have. I think, yeah, there's a lot of potential for this kind of character to reoccur in uh, Batman movies and throughout pop culture. And again, it's a cool cover, a one of eight collector item, which makes me just want it so much. And I, yeah, I think... You know, this is certainly one I've, I've always wanted, but it is that rare that, I mean, there's only eight of them out there, and I have not come across one in a CGC 9.8 white pages to kind of bid on or anything like that. So, yeah, I've, this one's eluded me, but maybe in the raw, you know, maybe you get one in a bin at a local comic shop if someone looks over. It's Batman 307, the first appearance of Lucius Fox. Yeah, I want a really good um, underfollowed one to consider. Next one's a really good one, too, uh, Batman 363. This is the first appearance of Nocturna. So th this uh, villain is, uh, you know, kind of a lady villain, and I believe she did have some appearances on, um, I don't know if it was maybe the Batwoman, like, series, or, um, I'm, again, I'm not on top of these shows. Very, I don't watch any TV, hardly at all. So, but uh, I believe she had a pop culture appearance or something, and uh, it, this book heated up for a bit. But I think, um, you know, you're still seeing some buy it nows where people are trying to get pretty expensive prices. But I remember seeing completed listings uh, for this one for decent prices in the CGC 9.8. But First Nocturna is a, a, a Batman villain that I think has not got a lot of play, certainly in pop culture, and has a lot of potential. Like to be in a movie and just to fit right in and, and be a really good villain. Uh, so 61, CGC 9.8's on the blue label, so this one's a little easier to find. Um, and yeah, there are a couple on eBay right now, albeit a little overpriced, to be honest. But there's 61 in the blue labels out there in the 9.8. 54% the CGC 9.8 ratio. So, you know, I'll, over half of them are 9.8s, over half of them graded 54% are CGC 9.8s. Whereas that Lucius Fox book, 13.8%, so a lot more rare, Batman 307. So a little bit different, and the price will show that, but... Yeah, Batman 363 is a cool, pretty cool cover, too, to be honest. Yeah, pretty cool cover. It's uh, $120 is what I, I... I actually was not seeing any completed listings on eBay either, but I remember this book uh, in completed listings because it being a Batman book, I'm always just hunting for Batman CGC 9.8s of this era, and I've noticed this one before. You know, 110 120 before, like, no rumors of Nocturna. That's the price for this book, 110 120 you know, maybe heat it up a little bit now. So if you really want this book and it looks really good, I'd maybe consider paying up to 140 American to all the prices here, just to keep it simple. I'd maybe consider paying up to 140 uh, for a really nice Batman 363. Maybe like a newsstand version. Maybe you know, maybe even pay up to 150 if it was just looking really good. Because yeah, a good first appearance that you know the cover looks cool. I think you have good pride of ownership with it. You hold it for a long time and. There's definitely potential for Nocturna to kind of pop up more in uh, pop culture, for sure. Uh, so next one of uh, underfollowed Batman books to want is a Detective Comics 525. This is just, like, my favorite sort of really colorful, cool cover of the era for Batman comics. So it's the first really, like, cool Killer Croc cover, for sure. Uh, he's got that one cover, like, 350, Batman 358, where his face is hidden. You can't even really tell it's him, so... This is just a really cl the classic Killer Croc cover. And yeah, with Batman, I find with this cover, I think the reason I like it so much, you get a lot of cool colors in it. And with Batman covers, a lot of times it's like dark and, you know, Batman's in the shadow. He's always working at night. So it's not like the most colorful type of comic. Whereas like X-Men, Uncanny X-Men and Spider-Man are really colorful, which, you know, we all like Marvel Comics for that, I think. But this is a really just great cover, colorful Batman cover of the era. And it just, yeah, it just looks, uh, has such eye appeal, I think. And on the census, there's 38 CGC 9.8, so a 1 of 38. Uh, it's a pretty special book for me. I purchased this in the raw on eBay online when I really first got back into things about three, four years ago. And it was uh, one of the 11 books I had sent to CGC. Only one time I've ever sent 11 books to CGC. And one of them was this raw I bought off of eBay and uh, came back a 9.8 white page. So, so happy with that, and uh, one of 38, I'm kind of responsible for one of those, which 
kind of feels great. And uh, this is one, though. I would certainly look to add another um, if uh, one popped up in Canada, really cheap shipping. Um, yeah, the 920 ratio is, uh, what is it, 35.5%, so it's actually, um, you know, not over 50% like the Nocturna issue, so it's a, you know, pretty decent rarity, and, uh, yeah, this book, too, is, um, you know, I think in auctions, things like that for prices, sometimes you get a, you know, really good deal on it, and, you know, maybe you'll see one go for, like, 110 but I think in buy it now is people pay up to, like, 150 for this book, because if they're like me, and <laughs> they just love this Batman cover, of this era, and it reminds them a lot of, like, uh, cool Batman covers from their childhood, like me. Uh, they're willing to pay up to about 150 American for this, but, yeah, I got one, and, uh, obviously graded it, and I'm hoping to maybe grab another, hopefully, like, for closer to 100, I would say, like, 110, 120. Maybe, uh, ship, get it shipped in Canada, hopefully. But, you know, not really key issue or anything, but certainly with this list, um, this is just a really cool cover. And it's, for me, it sticks out at uh, covers in that era, for sure. And it's pretty cheap, yeah, definitely. Um, I think, yeah, maybe if you're lucky, like, maybe even 100 might be doable in an auction type of uh, a deal. Um, if you're on top of your searches. Uh, so, next one is definitely a really underfollowed one with some potential, for sure. It's a Batman 412 in the CGC 9.8. I grabbed a, one of these uh, at my local comic shop for like five bucks uh, the other day um, in kind of like a probably a very fine near mint condition. Pretty nice one. Uh, but Batman 412 in the CGC 9.8, this is the first appearance of Mime. And I don't specifically know too much about the story, but I heard some rumors that um, Mime could be like Punchline's mother, possibly, or there's a Punchline connection with Mime. So Batman 412, first appearance of Mime, uh, if we look on the census, there's only 19 CGC 9.8s out there. 47.5% the CGC 9.8 ratio. So of all graded copies, 47.5% are 9.8. So not really rare, like that's almost half of them are 9.8s. So not very many graded of these, obviously underfollowed. Uh, but 19 CGC 9.8s. I had saw an auction of these for this book and a CGC 9.8 looking really good. Very tempting, I was watching it. It was in Canada too. Ended up going for like 92 bucks, I think it was. And you know what, I mean, I just making this video this morning too, I think for 92 bucks in Canada, I should have grabbed that one, a one of 19 in the CDC 9.8. Uh, yeah, if, you know, if you're maybe on a budget or, you're, you know, uh, I saw this one in my local comic shop bins, it's a great one to look to get for cheap in the bins as well. But yeah, and CGC 9.8, look, that one looking really good too, in a new case in an auction, it was in Canada, just went sort of 9,200, I think it was like, maybe 93 it was. But Batman 412, first mine, I think does have that that potential, and right now, Punchline is certainly the craze with the modern uh, Batman crowd, and um, I think Batman 412 is uh, a cool cover, and a cool Batman book, and then there's potential there, yeah, so, you know, it's one to just want, but even if, uh, you know, Punchline didn't come out, there might not be a connection, but that's a, maybe a bit of a wild card for that one. Uh, so next one is a, a cover that I just love. It's I, I really wish I had it in the CGC 9.8. I do have one in the Raw, but it's a Detective Comics 561. Classic Batman Robin cover with the uh, bat symbol in the background, the bat signal. Uh... And this book, uh, you may know, there's a more rare Zeller's variant of this book, which I think there's a, just a couple of the 9.8 on the census, and there's one on eBay right now of that Zeller's variant, and I believe it's $600. <laughs> buy it, flat buy it now. So a really rare one in the 9.8 for that one. But I am just looking for this book in a normal direct version or newsstand, I guess, whatever. I'd take both. Um, because I love this cover. This, yeah, this cover just sticks out for me. Where, you know, the Killer Croc cover's awesome, but it's kind of a villain, and, you know, whereas this one is just classic Batman and Robin, Heroes cover, I think this one has potential to get really classic over time and well collected, where, as right now, it's basically just a cheap non-key, so, yeah, if we look on the census, 14 CGC 9.8s. And uh, actually, the one I, I I purchased this one from my local comic shop a bit ago as well, and it's in really good shape. Like I gotta kind of take it out of the sleeve and re-sleeve it and double look because it's maybe nine point eight. We'll take a look at the back cover, but there's only fourteen CGC nine point eights out there, uh, so it kind of makes sense that I'm ha having pretty tough time finding this one. 
Uh, 53.8%, the CGC 9.8 ratio. So not a real rare one or anything in the 9.8, just really the coolness of that cover. And the price shows that. Like, I think for this one, I'm pretty sure, like, someone on the team had told me that they had grabbed this for, like, it was near, like, 50 to 60 bucks because, yeah, some of these non-key issues are just never searched, really. So every now and then in an auction, one could pop up, you get it for, like, 50, 60 bucks, like, super cheap. So... But maybe a more fair price, like I'd probably pay up to like 80 or 90 if it just looked awesome. And obviously I've been hunting this, like there's only 14 out there. So, but one, definitely get under 100 bucks. That is just a great classic uh, Batman cover that has more potential, I think. Yeah, uh, Detective Comics 561. Uh, so next one is another one in the similar vein of that. Is a Detective Comics 571. So, just talk about 561, 571, here's the classic Scarecrow cover. This is another one that sticks out to me from the era as well, and, you know, being opportunistic, and this one popped up from one of my favorite sellers, and if you look at the colors on this one, I've mentioned, it's, uh, it just looks amazing. They're, uh, really vivid. So this is a really prime, prime copy, and that was one of the reasons why I decided to uh, bid on this one. Cool Scarecrow cover, 29 CGC 9.8s in the blue label out there. It's kind of a 1 of 29. 54.7% is uh, the CGC 9.8 ratio. So yeah, very similar to uh, Detective 561. Similar rarity and similar type of book, uh, 571. Just a cool cover, 9 key issue. Uh, so you get the cool Scarecrow cover in Detective 571. Uh, I paid for mine, it was uh, $79, I believe it was. Yeah, just just right around 80 we'll call it. I'm kind of forgetting the exact, but... Yeah, right, it might have been a little bit lower. Maybe it was 71 Yeah, I didn't write that down, but uh, it was in an auction, so I think that's a pretty decent price. Like, you know, again, with these, you, you get lucky sometimes. I think you get them between, like, 50 you know, maybe in the 50 or $60 range. Uh, but yeah, we'll call it 70 to 80 is uh, the fair price, and that's what I paid for mine. And yeah, honestly, this is one I've enjoyed having lately, just taking it out. It, it's a real pr prime copy, uh, certainly a 9.8, uh, definitely flat, looks flawless, great colors. And uh, yeah, a steal, I think, for under 100 bucks if you're a Batman fan. Yeah, and these underfollowed ones uh, are pretty affordable, yeah, this, this list here, which is great. Uh, so, the last book here, number seven on the list, and uh, we'll go with a bit more of a main key issue, I think, for this one, and it's actually one I don't have still, and I do have it in the raw, actually, but a Batman 635, the first Jason Todd is Red Hood, or first appearance of modern Red Hood, basically. I think this book certainly has the potential, and it's a cool cover. Uh, I think Red Hood is a big hero, um, or a, you know, big villain, sort of anti-hero, how it all works out in the story. But um, uh, certainly, uh, you know, could fit so easy on a, a, a big Batman movie, I think. Yeah, so Red Hood. And this book, you know, it really got hot there off of just, you know, oh, this is the first modern appearance of Red Hood, and... Um, you know, it, it really, it, it, the Red Hood has its fans from that animated movie, the, the Red Hood, uh, Under the Red Hood, I believe it is, which is a great animated movie. Um, that one's uh, worth probably uh, revisiting for me. I haven't watched that one in a while, but uh, we'll look on the census for Batman 635, first Red Hood, 526 CGC 9.8s in the blue label, and 43.6% uh, is the CGC 9.8 ratio, so of all graded copies, 43.6% of them. Or 9.8, so not like particularly rare, but it is a moderate, like after 2,000 books, so not too, too bad there, actually. Uh, so price for Batman 635, because, yeah, I mentioned, you know, I saw some juicy prices on this book, and in a sense, I was kind of glad I didn't get out, you know, three years ago when I first started buying Batman CGC 9.8s and grabbed this one, because I remember them all be basically being like 220, 230, 240 even was like the range for this book for a long while. Uh, so lately, every now and then, you see some for like 155 in an auction go for, 179.99 seems to be like, if someone wants to sell it pretty quick, like that's a pretty fast sell there. So I think this is just a book that's come down in price a little bit, but uh, I think it's a great price right now. Yeah, and this is, I got to drill down it and grab this one, and because um, first Red Hood, there's no, you know, first Jason Todd is Red Hood, whatever you want to call it, there's no... Um, 
uh, you know, promotion for Red Hood right now. There's, a, you know, maybe a couple other Batman uh, things that are kind of heating up and have some promotion, but Red Hood seems to be under the radar now. The price in this book is showing it. And I just, that's like my type of style to buy, you know, be a little more savvy. And uh, the price is pulling back from, again, where it, for a while there, many in auctions had sort of went for like 220 was like a real normal auction price to see. Like people were paying that for this book for a really long time. So yeah, to get it anywhere from 150 to 175, I think is a steal and a buy in the CGC 9.8. Yeah, Batman 635. First Jason Todd is Red Hood, yeah. One of 526 in the blue label in CDC 9.8. Yeah, that one more of a doable one out of this whole list. Maybe not as underfollowed, but I think in the environment, when you talk about timing, and it, it is a bit underfollowed right now where it's, you know, it's going for a pretty cheap, fair price and uh, not, you know, too many like, ooh, Red Hood's going to be in this movie or that movie. Like, I haven't heard any of that. So Batman 635, I think, is a great buy right now. Okay. Let's get into uh, top picks here. That was uh, the full seven there. So top picks. You know, the one, two picks really kind of stand out. So the first Lucius Fox, Batman 307, whether in the raw or, you know, for me, I really do actually really want one of those eight, 9.8s. <laughs> but Batman 307 is just a cool key issue to look out for, even in local comic bins and stuff that not a lot of people know about. Yeah, Batman 307, first Lucius Fox, Batman 363, uh, first Nocturna is another one that's like another first appearance, uh, it's underfollowed, it's pretty cheap. Uh, so yeah, that's one to consider too, Batman 363. Batman 412 is like right behind them, I think. I think this is even more underfollowed almost. Cool cover, first appearance of mine, underfollowed villain. Yeah, this is uh, definitely, I think, easily can be on an underfollowed Batman list. Um, and yeah, yeah, the, like sort of these all, you know, put a lump in in one spot as kind of classic covers and just choose the ones you like, choose the ones you're most attracted to. And certainly there's a couple other, you know, great covers that are more bigger key issues that I didn't really include, but, uh, I would just say, choose your favorite. If you ever looking to grab maybe one of these or that Batman or uh, detective comics, five sixty seven, And then yeah, Batman 635, I just think is like a great modern key, bat modern Batman key right now that there's not a lot of chatter for. And, yeah, again, the prices have pulled back, so I think you step in, and that, that's an opportunity to grab around 150 175 for Batman 635 CDC 9.8. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll conclude up then uh, with that. Uh, got through seven, and uh, yeah, always sweet to talk about Batman books, and I got a lot of these kind of under... I want more, too, of, uh, you know, Bat Detective Comics 561 certainly comes to mind. I have one in the raw, and I love having it in the raw, and I just... Really want a 9.8, but yeah, I think it, like underfollow Batman books, they're just kind of like a great value. And even you could say that in Batman books in general. Like, yeah, I always sort of make the point like Batman and Spider Man kind of equal iconicism, I guess. But usually Batman books, you can get them for kind of cheaper. And, um, you know, sometimes they're a little bit harder to find because they weren't as well printed, which is even a better collector item because they're not as well printed. But um, usually you get them for a little bit cheaper than those popular Spider Man books. And, um, so they're kind of the, my value pick out of uh, comic books uh, rather than going after those like growthy oriented hotter type of books. Um, and yeah, you, you get an iconic hero for fair prices. So yeah, I think uh, that's um, something I've always liked about Batman. And you mentioned at the beginning too how um, you know Batman adds an, something different to your collection rather than, um, you know, a, a Marvel comic, Let, let's just call it, uh, being maybe a little more darker and a little more real and a little more emotion, a little more dealing with emotions uh, Batman is, and certainly, you know, we all love his origin, and, you know, uh, it all stems from that kind of thing, so, um, okay, that'll be it for the video, though, uh, I, if you haven't already, I invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8 and hit the bell to get all the latest notifications. Add me on Instagram and Twitter, too, as well. Check out our video archive, as well. Lots of great ideas on our uh, kind of uh, backlogs of videos. So, uh, yeah, great to get uh, just seven. Like, yeah, you know, the ones I kind of want, I, the Lucius Fox book, I'll sort of forever be <laughs> looking for a 9.8 of that. And I think Detective 561, um, because I got these two really cool covers. Detective 561 and the CGC 9.8 is so awesome, yeah. So I think that's another one to want. Okay, we'll wrap it up there. Uh, yeah, always great to talk about Batman books. And uh, 
Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate all the support too. Mention me on Instagram if you do have um, any questions you want to ask me. So yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.